Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for checking in again. It's just another update on my reef tank and how the transfer has been going and the struggles I've been experiencing in upgrading to a new larger system. Uh, this voiceover, I'm just going to kind of just go through it and let the video play and just kind of explain what I've been experiencing. Uh, the first thing is going from a smaller tank to a larger system. A lot of people say it's a lot easier and it's going to be better and you have more water volume, you have more room for air. Um, but I'm finding that it is a little harder um, coming from the opposite spectrum. A lot of people think coming from a big tank going down to a small tank is hard. But I kind of feel like after having the 30 gallon nano for so many years, I kind of mastered that. And I brought those that same mentality of maintaining a small system to a large system. And that's where my struggles are coming in. It is a lot different with a large system with having a sump and you know a large skimmer and a large meteor reactor and a lot of water volume and 100 pounds of rocks and thinking how are you going to fill all of this with fish and coral and just everything that comes with having a large tank um so that's definitely something i want people to take into consideration when you're thinking oh i want to upgrade i want to upgrade understand that that upgrade is an upgrade and it is going to cost you a lot more money along the way. Um, another thing I've been experiencing is I thought more water volume meant more elements in the water, so to speak. So my consumption of the calcium, alkalinity and magnesium wouldn't be as fast. Well, in fact, it was so fast that my alk was dropping a little over half a DKH per day. And I didn't have my doser set up yet for the new tank. So... I was starting to crash in my ALK levels. Um, I got all the way down to 6.7 in a matter of days. I have hooked up the Aquaforce components 1, 2, 3 and have the doser going again now. And I'm going to try and maintain it about 7.5 to 8. Um, I'd like to be somewhere in that range as the salt mixes up at that level um, around 8 with the probiotic salt and the reef salt. So I figured if I'm losing about half a DKH a day, I won't have to dose as much and I can prolong, you know, having to buy these five liter containers of components one, two, three plus. It definitely works. Um, so it should be interesting to see how it has an effect on the new system. Another thing I am experiencing is a lot of my corals are starting to pale out. And when I say corals, I mean SPS. This is eventually going to be an all SPS reef. That is the look and the feel that I'm going for on this tank. Um, so since I started off with reef salt and then went to probiotic salt, I'm almost a month in on this system and my nutrient levels have basically bottomed out as well. Um, with the Zeo mix, with the probiotic salt and everything that I'm dropping in from the vitality, from the coral build, from the aminos, um, I really haven't been able to get my nutrients up since I added the turbo snails. They're eating all the algae faster than it can grow. Um, I added a yellow tang. It's also eating all the algae faster than it can grow. So my nutrient levels, you would think, would be stable or normal, but in fact, it's super low. Um, <clears throat> and you can see it in the SPS corals. All my soft corals, LPS are all doing great they're all getting better coloration in fact but all the sbs are paling out my tricolor valdea the walt disney they're all starting to look a little different and lose that purples and yellows that they had before so i'm hoping with the doser back online um the ato hooked up having more food going into the system that it should work out i am going to go and try out the coral frenzy uh, Reef Keeper uses it. I've been looking at it. I had a sample. My fish eat it. So I do think I'm going to rock with the Coral Frenzy for food moving forward once I finish this last vial of reef voids that I have. Um, and I think the tank will find its, you know, its happy place in between all of this. Um, I did pick up a few frags at the frag swap here in Kendall, the FMAS frag swap. Um, one of the frags I got was a home record, so I'm really trying to find that good level to where I can really make spending the money on that coral worth it and watch it really grow out. Um, I do think I'm going to take a break on buying corals for a while, and I think I'm going to stick with just trying to get fish into the system and go through that process and really give everything I have a chance to thrive and to grow and to live. Um, so I just want to tell everyone thank you for stopping in and checking out the video. I appreciate it. 
uh, hit the link down below and subscribe and hit the like button, leave a comment if you'd like, and just let me know what you think of the reef, all right? Thanks for watching.